small experimental plane called the X-36. At first glance, the X-36 looks like the canceled Joint Strike Fighter, but actually, it's even less conventional. Not only does it lack a vertical tail fin, it's got no tail at all. The X-36 is formally known as the Tailless Fighter Agility Research Aircraft, a program funded jointly by NASA and private industry. The goal design a prototype fighter with little drag, unmatched stealth, and gut-wrenching agility. The X-36 program isn't the first time NASA has explored bizarre designs in search of maneuverability. During the 80s, they flew the X-29, which had forward-swept wings. The idea is simple. Make a fighter inherently unstable, and it will be able to move in ways nothing else can. With the X-36, engineers sought to prove that a radical shape could actually work in the air. But this time, they didn't have the money to spend on a full-size aircraft. So instead, they built one that was only a quarter the size. The X-36 is 19 feet long and only 3 feet high. Power comes from a small Williams turbofan engine. Fully fueled, the X-36 weighs about 1,300 pounds. The X-36 won't have a pilot, at least in the conventional sense. It's flown from a virtual cockpit back on the ground. Here the pilot looks at the computer-generated image on the horizon. On May 21, 1997, the X-36 took off from Rogers Dry Lake at Edwards Air Force Base, California. As the X-36 broke ground, NASA engineers knew they had a controllable plane. From his virtual cockpit, NASA pilot Larry Walker took the X-36 up to almost 5,000 feet. The plane handled so well, he decided to try out a couple of rolls. NASA engineers scoured through data as it was transmitted back in real time. From his virtual cockpit, Walker again pulled up the nose and carried out a quick roll. The X-36 may be the shape of things to come. Using split ailerons and thrust vectoring instead of a tail gives a fighter better stealth and maneuverability. But there's something else about it that some military planners find interesting. Here, NASA uses a virtual cockpit because the X-36 is just a model. But future full-size combat planes may be flown the same way. A pilotless fighter could fly at G-forces beyond the physical limits of a human. And more importantly, no one's life is put at risk. The pilot would fight enemy planes from the safety of a virtual cockpit hundreds or even thousands of miles away. The idea is controversial, but as technological barriers continue to fall, the only thing standing in the way of the pilotless fighter may be the pilots themselves. 